This is the dev term. The dev term is a portable retro style Linux computer made by Clockwork Pi. Packed with a Raspberry Pi CM4, a full QWERTY keyboard with gamepad buttons, this crazy long screen, and let's not forget that beautiful thermal printer. This makes the dev term the perfect device for on the go coding and tinkering. This unit was sent to me for review by Alex at Clockwork Pi, so let's jump right in. After receiving my device, I got started right away with putting it together. Everything was so neatly packed and organized that it was almost too easy and everything snapped into place quite well it was just the lcd took a little bit of extra force after connecting everything up and attaching that beautiful thermal printer i can snap the side knobs on and put the batteries in i spent some time setting everything up and customizing it to my liking i even downloaded pi apps doom minecraft celeste and even pico 8 so who is the dev term for? I'm a game developer and I'm currently using the Unity game engine to develop my first Steam game. It's about a frog working multiple jobs to pay his child support. And if you would like to, you can wishlist my game on Steam with the link down below. Anyway, about a month ago, I was scrolling on YouTube watching videos about Pico 8 as I'd never heard about it. And that's when I saw it. The Pocket Chip. A portable Linux computer that fits in your pocket and it runs Pico 8. That's exactly what I was looking for. Over the year, I had found myself having less and less time to develop video games. That's why it's always been at the back in my mind to find something easier and more portable than a full desktop. I got a laptop thinking that portability was what I needed. But as the name implies, the pocket chip fits in your pocket. So I hopped online and I ordered one. Once it arrived, I had a blast playing with it. Despite the hurdle of getting used to Linux, it wasn't all that bad. But literally two days later, I kid you not, the pocket chip was stuck in a login loop. Despite my efforts, Next Thing Co. went out of business a couple of years ago. And the only way I'd be able to get back in is if I reflash it. But that's for another video. So what makes the two different? Well, for starters, the dev term is portable, but not as portable as the pocket chip. The dev term is this buttery, smooth, functional device, while the pocket chip, on the other hand, feels super tough and bare. This even shows through when trying to type on this thing, and without modding it, you're not going to really have a comfortable typing experience. It feels like each press takes the strength of 20 men, which is way more force than I want to apply if I'm going to be coding on this thing. On the other hand, the dev term's keyboard feels like a regular old keyboard. I'm not going to lie and say it feels anywhere close to my RK or mechanical keyboard, but I did write the entire script for this video using it so take that as you will. There are many uses I've found for the dev term with the first one being gaming. After loading up Pico 8 I'm not gonna lie I was kind of overwhelmed with the selection of games they had. I found myself randomly loading it up to play a few games and then turning it back off to continue with my day. And being able to jump into the code feels really nice to the game developer side of me and maybe one day I'll make a game in it. But for the next use I've found for the dev term is using it as a writing device. I'm a big note taker and I have tons of notebooks to spew out all of my ideas but then it gets hard to remember remember where I put something or even remember to come back to it. But with this device, I can load up my favorite writing software and jot down anything I need. This helps me keep all of my thoughts and ideas nice and neat. The next thing I've been using the dev term for is electronics programming. So my girlfriend recently got me a Raspberry Pi 5. Since then, I've been playing around with some kits trying to create some things. I got this LED to flash and I even changed the voltage with this potentiometer. This was pretty fun and the dev term makes it easy for me to play around with these concepts even on my lunch break at work. It even inspired me to mod this car kit with my own speaker to play my music. I even added LEDs to show the power and battery level. The last thing I've been using the dev term for is regular old programming. Yep, I've been using Python to create some basic text based applications and games. The first project I started was this basic list app. It simply just allows you to create and read lists. You can name your new file and set a line count, type in some information and either read or delete it from your save folder. It's pretty basic but I haven't used Python too much so it was a nice warm up to get used to the language. With being a game developer, my next project had to be a game. And what game do you make with only text other than a slot machine roguelike? So that's what I did. In this game, you can place a bet and spend the slots. You can either win or lose health based off your matching numbers. You also gain four times your betting amount when hitting jackpot. You can upgrade player stats and attributes in the upgrades menu. It's not fully working, but like I said, I'm a Unity developer. Please wishlist my game on Steam. My final thoughts on the dev term would be that it's an awesome device if you want some power behind your portable coding machine. And even then, you can just get a laptop. This gives you a bigger screen and a more functional OS for anything you would need. So why the dev term? The dev term is a retro style mini computer. It's built for hackers and people who like to explore the interesting parts of technology. And let's be honest, what other device looks this cool? What other device can you take apart and add your own attachments? And what other device has this cool as thermal printer that can print so many things? The dev term is for people 
who are enthusiastic about computers, tinkering, and overall cool shit. It's not the goal of this video to convince you why the dev term is so cool or else you wouldn't be here in the first place. It's to give you a closer look at the things a game developer like me has been using it for. I hope this video gives you a closer look and a better understanding of the capabilities of the dev term and the incapabilities. But thanks again to Alex for sending me this awesome little device for review. And I look forward to checking out more products by Clockwork Pie in the future. And if you guys would like to check out the dev term, I put a link for it in the description. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful at all, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it does help me out a lot. Bye guys.